You ready for this? How can anyone be ready? So this is like um, the intro. To disappear for two decades. I thought that was, that's pretty cool, you know. Let me build on that. Evan Olson built that into a song called So Much Better on his CD, One Room, back in the 1990s. Long before I had you in my dreams, you came and captured my imagination. I had kind of written that song off, you know. I didn't think anyone remembered it. I never had to worry because I know who you are. Tyler Gillette heard it 20 years ago as a high school kid in Arizona, and he couldn't forget. It has so many elements that are just absolutely um, the like the distillation of what 90s music was at the time. It's it's got a really catchy kind of big arena rock chorus. It's got that sort of fast, quick fire, you know, almost like rap sounding. Um, verse. Sort of half bare naked ladies. Half you too. Share your love with me tonight. It's musically just really smart. I mean, Evan is mixing together sounds that you wouldn't imagine would go together well. It was Keith Richards said that you, uh, something about like amateurs borrow and professionals steal or something like that. Tyler's now a filmmaker in LA and we caught up with him on Zoom. Were you thinking that you might never find out whose song this was? Yeah, I, I actually was, I was convinced that it was just going to be lost, lost to the internet. Not if PJ Vote had anything to do with it. This thing was absolutely crazy, wasn't it? It was crazy. Like it didn't make sense to me that something could be both famous and gone. Like, that didn't add up. PJ and Alex Gordon do a podcast called Reply All, which deals with fun stories about how the internet shapes things. Whatever this was, it was something like big on, on the radio. But the internet didn't shape Evan's song. It lost it. It felt almost like he'd found like a hole in the world, like a glitch. So PJ hired professional musicians in LA to record the song based off nothing but Tyler singing it to them. Long before I had you in my dreams, you came and captured my imagination. And their version came out like this. Share your love with me tonight. It seems Tyler remembered the song incredibly well. Yeah, he did. And it was even close to the, the original key, which is a weird key. It's E-flat, you know, which is really strange. They put that L.A. version into the app SoundHound and nothing. Another dead end. So PJ went a more traditional route. Well, you brought in some heavy hitters. You brought in folks from Rolling Stone magazine. You brought in Bare Naked Lady singer Stephen Page. And still none of these folks could figure it out. Yeah, it, it was... It was surprising to me. I kept going to the people who felt like they should be the kind of gurus on the mountain for whatever this would be, and and none of them could answer it. They had one more long shot. They typed the lyrics into Facebook, and they got a hit and found the song's writer, Evan, right here in Greensboro. I want to feel that love. The story of Reply All Search for the Missing Hit became a worldwide sensation, not just on the Internet, but write-ups in the UK Guardian, Rolling Stone, and the like, giving the song new life. Well, of all the songs called so much better on iTunes, mine is the second most popular. Wow. <laughs> right there. Eminem is after me. That's got to mean something, I would hope. I don't know. It means things are so much better. I think this story was special. It just couldn't have been a more interesting outcome. Bob Buck. Share your love with me tonight. Fox 8 News. And there you go.